we are live sir we can start the session okay okay good evening friends and welcome to ikra is my name is irshad khan and i am one of your faculty for political science and international relation it's being a very good opportunity for me to introduce our main faculty for political science and international relation mr sanjay thakur sir he has been teaching political science for more than 10 years and he had taught more than 3000 students and guided them for this preparation with an option of political science so it's an opportunity for us to listen to him to see what he has to say what his orientation about the political science as an optional subject and ikra is very glad to have him on the platform to for the political science so without any delay i would like to call mr sanjay sir to start and begin this lecture to give the students an insight that is required for them to excel in the political science option subject sir basically waiting for you so sir please continue thank you very much i'll uh, one more thing the format of the class is sir will take the orientation and then we'll move toward the q and a session okay so thank you very much sir sanjay thakur sir igra is yes, welcomes you is it audible sir i guess yes sir thank you sir thank you hello everyone very good evening to all of you am i audible to you audible and visible both yes sir can you see me and hear me properly okay well well so <clears throat> you are very welcome to psir symposium at ikra ias so <clears throat> today i am going to provide a brief introduction to the subject political science especially the subject political science in context of optional in upsc csc written examination so <clears throat> uh in due course of going through the analysis of each and every entry of syllabus i will try to uh, tell you some brief description about their have their whereabouts as well so <clears throat> introduction to political science or whereabouts of political science this is basically the topic of the day for the symposium and uh, <clears throat> i am having the syllabus with me in my hand so you might be knowing it that political science and international relationship subject for upsc csc written examination uh, has been a very important subject i can say for last 7 to 8 years especially and from day by day its importance is greatly increasing okay so <clears throat> like uh, other optional subjects it is also comprised of two different papers the subject matter of both the papers are highly interconnected so <clears throat> political science paper 1 is basically comprised of two segments like segment a which is all about political thoughts and theories and of course up to a certain extent we are also required to know about different kinds of political ideologies and part b is all about indian governance and politics that is icp similarly if you look into the second paper of psir optional it is also having its two distinguished components component a is all about comparative politics comparative politics and of course the theories of international relationship and second part is all about you know global politics as well as india and world india and world so two highlighted components in part b of paper 2 are global politics plus india and world 
so <clears throat> the second dimension of part b that is india and world it is hugely overlapped with your general studies paper 2 syllabus especially when it comes to the syllabus concerning international relationship again come back to paper 1 i mean part b of paper 1 part b of paper 1 since it comprised of indian governance and politics so indian governance and politics has a great overlap a huge overlap with again general studies paper 2 especially corresponding to indian politics and governance since in gs paper 2 you have to study about four different components one is constitution and polity other is governance third one is social justice and fourth one is international relationship so higher portion of paper 2 it is directly overlapped with second dimension of part b of paper 2 in your psir optional paper okay i mean second paper and when it comes to part a and up to a certain extent undoubtedly part a of paper 2 as well means part a is of both the papers they are having huge overlapping with your fourth paper that is ethics and integrity fourth paper means general studies paper 4 every year you can see that you are having at least one to two topics in essay paper corresponding to political science optional subject so all such things i have been discussing in front of you simply for the purpose of letting you know the importance of this subject okay so <clears throat> since i have told you just now that we shall be started we shall be is starting with where about sub political science so today i will try to provide some sort of you know glimpses upon uh, some introductory aspects of this discipline this subject okay <clears throat> and one more thing in due course of interaction uh, supposedly i won't be uh, hearing your voice because uh, the system on which uh, this entire episode is connected with me over here uh, i think that is desktop and uh, uh, there is no a uh, volume system uh, i mean open volume system concerning this desktop to hear the voice uh, i would be requiring to uh, use the earphone and uh, uh, non hesitantly i would be saying that i am not going to use any here ear earphone so but no worries i will be taking up your doubts by having a look into your textual messages okay so let's get started with the topic we have done so much formalities regarding on which date uh, bias is going to be commenced how long will it take to get accomplished and so on so forth so today i am trying to uh, demonstrate myself concerning the introductory aspect of political science okay so look <clears throat> here where about sub political science means introduction to the discipline of political science or the discipline like political science now the question is what is meant by discipline look suppose if somebody is telling you that please stay disciplined please remain in discipline what does it mean it simply means that you are asked you are supposed to remain within your limit means if somebody is not crossing his limit it means he is within the purview of discipline he is in discipline so directly or indirectly if the term discipline is employed along with any subject it means that something which constitute the extent of the subject extent of the subject extent of the subject means the limit of the subject the limit of the subject means if a sub subject is formed out of its different kinds of orders different kinds of ingredients so all those ingredients would be termed as discipline okay so something which constitute the extent of the subject now the question is so what's the extent of the subject like political science what's the extent of the subject like political science means what are the components which are used to formulate 
the limit of you know uh, the entire design of the subject like political science so focusing upon those components we shall be studying in our syllabus so the components which constitute the subject political science they are basically political thoughts political thoughts political theories and of course while you studying political theories we shall also be studying about different sorts of political ideologies so political thoughts political theories you know comparative political assessment comparative political assessments governance and political schemes and international relationship international relationship so whenever we will be talking about the discipline like political science it means we are going to rely upon these important components which make the subject political science a kind of discipline so hopefully you would be getting my point so if i am saying that we are going to study the discipline like political science it means within a particular subject we are going to emphasize upon these important components so via means of certain ingredients constituting political science as a discipline i am trying to indicate you that uh, we are going to study about political thought we are going to study about political theories political ideologies comparative politics you know issues concerning governance and politics and of course international relationship so all such components would be constituting the discipline like political science is it okay fine <clears throat> see <clears throat> apart from all these components constituting this discipline listen me carefully it is basically the political thought which matters a lot so political thoughts should be taken high handedly while studying the discipline like political science why because of certain reasons see every subject has its own linguistic context every subject has its own orientation right every subject is promoted or regulated via means of the uses of certain key terminologies so if you look into the discipline like political science this i mean uh, all the key concepts all the specific linguistic aspects concerning the subject like political science they are formed out of political thought so this is the reason why i'm saying you that uh, while you studying the discipline political science primarily it is needed to study political thought so once you properly get to know about different political thoughts it becomes very much easy for you to understand different political ideologies vis a vis different political theories because there is a very huge overlap between political thought and political uh, theories political theories uh, may be considered as a larger sum of political thoughts so political thoughts are basically individual oriented suppose you are a particular scholar political scholar political thinker you have pronounced or propounded certain specific kind of thought suppose there is some other guy who is also a political thinker who is also a political scholar he may be uh, providing some distinct political thought and this is how the thoughts you know collected from different different political thinkers you know they are combined together their commonness is evaluated and on the ground of their commonness political theories are constituted so in simplest possible term you can say that political theory is basically a set and this set is formed out of different subsets which are called as political thoughts so are you getting my point political thought and political theories but remember if the subject like political science is like a suppose it's like a building it's like a building so in constructing this building foundation would be certainly constructed by political thoughts political thoughts so this is explicitly mentioned in your syllabus 
uh, especially uh, unit 10 and unit 9 of part A of paper 1. So unit 10 is all about Western political thought and unit 9 is all about Indian political thought. So after going across uh, the two sets of political thoughts, namely Western political thought and Indian political thought, we are supposed to study the different political ideologies and then the different sorts of political thoughts. Political thoughts means political thought related to, uh, sorry, political theories. After going through political thoughts and ideologies, we are supposed to move towards political theories. Means political theory related to state, political theory related to equality, you know, freedom, rights, power, hegemony and all. So they are basically the part of political theories. But uh, before going across political theories, we are supposed to get two important components accomplished in part A in paper one, and they are primarily the political thoughts and secondly, political ideologies. Okay. So first of all, first of all, we will be doing it political thoughts, political thoughts then political theories and even before political theories political ideologies political ideologies and after going through political ideologies finally we will see sober upon political theories political theories look under political thought as per the syllabus subscribed by union public service commission for PSIR optional we have to rely upon two sets of political thoughts. One is the WPT, that is Western political thought, and other one is the Eastern political thought, especially the Eastern political thought in context of India. So this set of political thought, that is Eastern political thought, can be precisely termed as Indian political thought. Indian political thought. So <clears throat> there are different subgroups of each and every classes of political thought. For example, if you look into the Western political thought, it may be classified into Greek political thought. It may be classified into Italian political thought, British political thought, German political thought, you know. So there are the different subclasses of Western political thought. Similarly, there are different subclasses of Eastern political thought. Eastern political thought means to say, Chinese political thought, Indian political thought, you know, Arabic political thought, and so on and so forth. But here, within the ambit of Eastern political thought, we have to uh, rely strictly upon Indian political thought. Are you getting my point? So two thought traditions we are requir required to study in our syllabus. Okay. See, <clears throat> under Western political thought, we have to discuss two classes two classes of political thought. One is ancient Western political thought and the other is contemporary or you can say modern. I think modern will be the more appropriate term. Modern Western political thought. Okay. Similarly, under Indian political thought, we are needed to study its two classes. One is ancient Indian political thought and the other is modern Indian political thought. Is it okay? Ancient Indian political thought, modern Indian political thought. So you would be certainly more acclimatized to Indian political thought. So first of all, I'm going to show you the references concerning ancient Indian political thought vis-a-vis -vis modern Indian political thought. Okay, look. So under ancient Indian political thought, you are supposed to study two thought traditions. One is, I mean, uh, Brahmanic tradition, Brahmanic tradition, and the other is Sramanic tradition, Sramanic tradition. So under Brahmanic tradition, you are supposed to study about Manu and Kautilya. Right. See, 
the best medium to study political thought is to study it through its thinkers okay and while studying the viewpoints of thinkers we are required to refer the classics or the text written by them so while studying brahmanical thought tradition in ancient indian political thought we shall be focusing upon manu and kautilya while studying manu we will be referring you know is some smriti textas in general and manu smriti in particular manu smriti while studying kautilya it's obvious that we shall be referring artha shastra artha shastra for kautilya kautilya fine so political thoughts shall be studied within the purview of political thinkers and to understand the political thinkers well we are supposed to refer their classics their great texts written by them okay so this must is for brahmanical tradition and under shramanic tradition in fact shramanic tradition is all about non vedic tradition non vedic tradition means uh, brahmanic tradition follows the vedas shramanic shramanic tradition denies the vedas so within the ambit of within the purview of shramanic tradition it's obvious that you may refer buddha jaina azivakas and so on so forth but but uh, remaining within your limit because we are going to show political science as a discipline so we are equally required to be disciplined while having a coverage of syllabi right so <clears throat> in ninth unit of part a in paper 1 it is all about indian political thought right and under indian political thought it is given that dharma shastra artha shastra and buddhist okay dharma shastra artha shastra and buddhist so dharma shastra and artha shastra they are related to brahmanic tradition right and of course under shramanic tradition we have to select only only one topic and that is buddhist tradition so we need to remain specific while studying shramanic tradition we are not required to you know cross over the boundary of buddhist tradition within shramanic one so buddhist tradition so <clears throat> these two streams like uh, brahmanic stream and shramanic stream they constitute the ancient indian political thought right but when it comes to modern indian political thought modern indian political thought here we are supposed to study about certain political thinkers like uh, sir sayed ahmed khan you know sri arvindo mohandas karamchand gandhi two days before we have celebrated their birthday okay mk gandhi then it comes uh, uh, dr b r ambedkar dr b r ambedkar and finally manavendra nath roy m n roy you know so he is supposed to be the father of communist movement movement in india and he is considered as the supporter of radical democracy so while he studying m n roy we shall be referring uh, all such things okay so 1 2 3 4 5 five modern indian political thinkers and two ancient indian political thinkers not two exactly three manu kautilya and mahatma buddh so in totality we have to study a total of eight political thinkers in unit number 9 and why we need to study those eight political thinkers i mean indian political thinkers in order to understand indian political thought and all these eight political thinkers they can be classified into you know uh, two different eras so in ancient era uh, three scholars are there manu kautilya and mahatma buddha and in modern era here uh, five uh, political thinkers are there like sir sayed ahmed khan or bindo gandhi ambedkar mn roy okay so <clears throat> this is all about indian political thoughts so this much thing we need to study while are doing with the regular sessions so you must be aware of the fact that we are going to commence the regular session from 31st of october the time is timing is 130 pm right so now come back to not come back please switch over to western political thought okay western political thought so we have just discussed 
and sin political thought. I mean, Indian political thought. And under Indian political thought, we have uh, seen ancient Indian political thought as well as modern Indian political thought. So move on to Western political thought. See, like we saw in case of India, here too, we will be studying two sets of Western political thought. One is ancient Western political thought, another is modern Western political thought. So under ancient Western political thought, we are supposed to study two political scholars who are belonging to, I mean, uh, Greece school of political thought or Greece thought tradition. They are basically Plato and Aristotle. Plato and Aristotle. But the problem is, while studying Plato, you cannot write the Socrates off. So directly we shall be starting with Plato, but we will also be observing a reborn of Socrates in Plato. So while studying Plato, we will observe the rebirth of Socrates in Plato. Okay, because we all know it well that political thought can be studied through referring political thinkers and political thinkers can be understood via means of having a glimpse upon the great text written by them. And remember, no such great texts are available which are written by Socrates. So whatever we know in details about Socrates, we all know via means of Plato only. Okay, fine. <clears throat> so directly, we have to refer Plato and Aristotle under ancient Western political thought, but indirectly we shall be referring Socrates, Plato and Aristotle, all the thrice within the purview of ancient Western political thought. Is it okay? Fine. Look, so <clears throat> there is a great relationship between these trio, I mean, Socrates, Plato and Aristotle. For example, Socrates is basically uh, the teaser of Plato, the teaser of Plato, while Plato is, Plato is basically the teacher of Aristotle, the teacher of Aristotle. But the difference is, difference is, look, Plato is the pupil of Socrates, Aristotle is the pupil of Plato. But the difference between these two pupils are, I mean, Plato and Aristotle is, you can say Plato is the greatest pupil of Socrates. But in case of Aristotle versus Plato, Aristotle, of course, may be called as the greatest pupil of, greatest disciple of Plato, but at the same time, he is also the greatest critic of Plato. Okay, but nowhere you will be finding Plato criticizing the Socrates, but on many occasions, you will be clearly finding that Aristotle would be criticizing Plato. So Aristotle is the greatest disciple, greatest pupil, as well as the greatest critic of Plato. Plato is the greatest disciple of Socrates. Socrates. Okay. So in, in becoming a political philosopher, I am telling about Plato. So for Plato, in becoming a political philosopher, there is a great contribution made by Socrates. I can't say that all the contributions were made by Socrates, but of course, the maximum contributions were made by Socrates, because Plato earlier wanted to, uh, you know, join politics because he was belonging to aristocratic uh, Athenian family, uh, and uh, many of his family members were in politics. Even in past, there was a great track, track record of Plato's family uh, concerning their relationship with politics and bureaucracy. So he was also desiring of becoming a great politician. But uh, there were certain uh, mishaps took place in uh, Plato's life. And those were basically, you can say, ideological mishaps. And uh, because of all those developments, uh, Plato shifted himself from uh, politics to philosophy. And uh, later on, he became 
the great political philosopher even uh, he is called as the father of political philosophy you know and because of his shifting from politics to philosophy now we are studying about plato in our syllabus upsc csc main syllabus okay <clears throat> fine so <clears throat> three scholars need to be studied three political thinkers i mean ancient western political thinkers need to be studied under western political thought it constitutes the 10th unit of part a in paper 1 okay fine <clears throat> so they all belong to greeks they are greek philosophers okay so greek is a part of western world so philosophers or thinkers coming from that world will be called as western political philosophers western political thinkers one more thing <clears throat> see <clears throat> socrates plato and aristotle socrates is called as the father of ethics the father of ethics ethics is basically a branch of philosophy a branch of philosophy plato is called as the father of the father of political philosophy the father of political philosophy aristotle is called as the father of political science so anything or everything you know opined by these three great greek political philosophers or thinkers don't you think that would be uh, of great importance for the discipline like political science because one is considered to be the father of ethics other is considered to be the father of political philosophy and third one that is aristotle is termed as the father of political science so anything told by aristotle or plato in the context of the discipline like political science don't you think it you know automatically becomes very important thing fine <clears throat> so western political thought starts with actually plato western political thought starts with plato and uh, plato and aristotle they are belonging to ancient tradition of western political thought so western political thought starts with plato and aristotle means western political thought starts with greek political thought because they are belonging to greek i mean greece the people of greece they are called as greeks okay greek political thought so apart from you know the west i mean ancient western political thought we are also needed to study the modern western political thought so <clears throat> what we need to study in modern western political thought so here we shall be studying the thought propounded by machiavelli machiavelli then it comes thomas hobbes then john locke john locke then it comes john stuart mill then karl marx 
then gram C, then Hanare. So how many modern polit modern Western political thinkers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So we need to study all these seven uh, modern Western political thinkers. Is it okay? See, here Machiavelli and uh, Gramsci, right? Machiavelli and Gramsci, they were belonging to Italy. So you can say Italian political thinkers. Italian political thinkers. Italian political thinkers, they constitute the part of Western political thought. Okay. Then it comes Thomas Hobbes, John Locke, J. S. Mill. All, all the thrice were from Britain. So they were British political thinkers. Okay. Karl Marx and Hanare. They were from Germany. So don't you think? Greece, Italy, Britain, Germany, they all are the part of Western world. So the thinkers belonging to this person or this reason, they would be certainly referred to as the Western political thinkers and their uh, thoughts would be called as Western political thought. Is it okay? Are you getting my point? Yes. So whatever we discussed till now, they are going to constitute ninth and 10th unit of part A in paper one. Okay. After going through this much portion, we will be moving on to political ideologies, certain important political ideologies, which are given in our syllabus. So under political ideologies, we shall be studying about, you know, liberalism, Marxism, and of course, socialism, liberalism, socialism, Marxism, you know, uh, pluralism. Here we will also study about post-colonialism, post-colonialism, you know, feminism, Gandhism, and of course, two to three political ideologies more. Uh, right now, I'm just showing whatever be given in our syllabus. Okay. So <clears throat> after going through these political ideologies, now we'll be directly shifting on to political theories, political theories. So in political theories, primarily you will be taught about the meaning and approaches to political theories. Okay. meaning and approaches to political theories, then political theory of political theories of state, you know, I mean, equality, then justice, liberty, freedom, Dem I mean, liberty and freedom, they can be used interchangeably. So there is no need to have repetition. So liberty, then democracy. And finally, power, hegemony and all. Okay. So this person we will be studying under political theories. So 
in due course of having a go through of all these political theories we will also have some sort of reference to part a in paper 2 especially while studying political theories we will also be studying the theories of international relationship the theories of international relationship and uh, after uh, doing with the theory of international relationship that is basically the part of unit 5 unit 5 part a paper 2 okay unit 2 it is also very much overlapped with part a in paper 1 ah uh, yes ha uh, state in comparative perspective so while studying the theory of state we will also be studying the states in comparative perspective means theories of states and states in comparative perspectives okay so after doing all these sections we will see over upon igp portion indian governance and politics under indian governance and politics we may classified into two sub classes one is indian nationalism it is basically unit 1 of part b in paper 1 indian nationalism and then it comes you can say constitutional and governing aspects here it would be appropriate to say political and governing aspects political and governing aspects okay so under political and governing aspects we will be studying about the historical underpinnings of indian constitution you know uh, the issues concerning uh, the different organs of government like executive legislative judiciary on both the tiers central as well as state means central executive state executive central legislative state legislative you know and uh, in the domain of judiciary we can't say central judiciary and state judiciary rather we are having single integrated judicial system so you can say judicial system of india it is also to be studied within this part right apart from this <clears throat> in paper 2 uh under part a we'll discuss about comparative politics plus uh global politics global politics global politics is basically the integral part of second part i mean part b in paper 2 and within this part global politics and india and world india and world so this is how uh the syllabus of political science optional paper 1 and paper 2 would be covered while regular classes which is going to be commenced from 31st october fine <clears throat> so political science political science don't you think the heading of this subject of henley confuses the people whether it's a science like biology whether it's a science like chemistry or other natural and life sciences the question may be yes the question may also be i mean the answer may be yes and also the answer may be no so how it can be termed as a science see before understanding political science as science i am going to start with start it with a famous quote and that quote is given by maitland so there is a political scholar maitland who says that whenever 
I see the question paper. The question paper titled Political Science, titled Political Science, I get more and more trouble with the title. of the question paper rather than the ask answers given in the question paper. Are you getting this point? So Maitland basically, he is criticizing the discipline, political science by, you know, having such nomenclature because uh, you get a suffix science attached with expression political science. So he is criticizing. He is saying that whenever I see the question paper titled political science, I am more troubled with the title of the question paper rather than the ask answers given in the question paper. Ask answers means questions rather than the questions given in the question paper. See means he is clearly saying that political science should not be provided with the suffix science. Now the question is, what is science and why he is in against of not providing the suffix of science along with political science? Because he was comparing political science with life science or natural science. No doubt, the way we treat natural science or natural science or you can say just a moment. Yes. So <clears throat> it should not be treated as science the way we treat life sciences or natural sciences like biology, physics and all because uh, natural sciences are basically defined as uh, a kind of, you know, means uh, each and every kind of natural science you can define in same way saying uh, it is just like an organized body of knowledge, you know, uh, supported by different kinds of observations and experimentations, which will be derived from the study of natural phenomena of entire universe. So such definition is not, you know, resembled with the discipline like political science. So in content wise, political science may not be treated as natural science, but, but if you look into uh, the pattern of studying the political science, it may be resembled with the pattern of studying the natural science. So in that context, it may be called as science. In that context, it may be called as science. But uh, content-wise, it may not be called as science. Science means natural science. So whenever we write political science, so here science is not meant by we are trying to refer the natural science. Rather, we are trying to refer humanities only. But the way of studying this humanity subject it is similar to that of the subjects related to natural science. Is it okay? So <clears throat> with this, uh, I'm going to uh, terminate my session. Now uh, I'm inviting uh, Ishad sir. So he will be sharing the dais with you. So, and uh, of course I will see you in the first class. I mean, 31st of October when we will be commencing the session. So that's all for today. Thank you so much.
thank you sir uh, sanjay sir would be join uh, sorry uh, thank you sanjay sir irshad sir would also be joining uh, you guys in uh, in a minute or so jahan pe uh, question answer session chalenge uh, we'll try to keep it in english as well as hindi all right so just give us a moment thank you for your time sir सर क्यूडी सर एम आई ऑडिबल मैडम सर ऑडिबल है सर विजिबल नहीं है एक बार जरा चेक करिए जी सर जस्ट गिव मी अ मिनट आई थिंक आई एम विजिबल नाउ क्यूडी सर आई एम यस सर यस यस सर okay so thank you very much sanjay sir for such a great insights to our students who is beginning their preparation and they are very fond of taking the psir as an optional subject so we are very glad to have you in our platform to teach us to teach our students and uh, to uh, you know prepare them to score a very good marks in the optional subject okay तो बिल स्टार्ट हम लोग क्या करेंगे कि हम लोग क्वेश्चन आंसर सेशन स्टार्ट करते हैं ठीक है आपके जो भी क्वेश्चन है यूडी सर माइक अलाउड है इनको अभी कि दे हैव टू मतलब उनको लिखना पड़ेगा टेक्स्ट में चैट चैट में बोला है ओके सो जो भी क्वेश्चन है आपका यू कैन पुट इट ऑन द चैट बॉक्स आप चैट बॉक्स में लिख दीजिए आई विल आंसर वन बाई वन ठीक है सर माइक का वॉल्यूम कम है माइक का वॉल्यूम कम है इज इट ऑडिबल आई गेस प्रॉपरली राघव ऑडियो ठीक है सर ठीक है ठीक है तो किसी का कोई क्वेश्चन है अगर से तो दे कैन आस्क दे क्वेश्चन ओके राघव का कुछ क्वेश्चन था मेरे ख्याल से पीछे अगर हम लोग जाएंगे तो राघव रिफ्रेम योर क्वेश्चन अगेन तो आप अपने साइड से वॉट इज द फीस ऑफ फीस स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द क्लास ऑफ पी एस है तो फीस विल बी ट्वेंटी फाइव you can see the fees is 25000 for the first 50 student and we are filling this part very quickly in a day or two ek do din ke andar hamara ye fees ka jo offer hai 25000 wo complete hone wala hai jo 50 students ke liye rakha tha otherwise the fees is 40000 the original fees is 40000 original fees is 40000 plus gst theek hai That is 18 percent GST, but for the first 50 students, it is 25,000. Okay, so you have to register as soon as possible. There are two installment in this. You can see over here at the time of registration, you have to pay 12,500 plus GST, and the remaining is on the 15th of December. You will get 45 days of you know. टाइमिंग टू कम्प्लीट पर आपको पैंतालीस दिन मिलेगा आपकी फीस को कम्प्लीट करने के लिए ठीक है तो दो साइकिल में है ये आपका फीस का हो गया जिसने भी फीस के लिए क्वेश्चन पूछा था सर एक बार चैट बॉक्स में और भी क्वेश्चन आए हैं सर बेसिकली उसका क्वेश्चन ये है कि जो पॉलिटिकल थिंकर्स के बारे में पूछा जाता है क्या उन्हीं आर्ट थिंकर्स के बारे में होगा या उसके बाहर का भी आने की संभावना है देखो यूपीएससी का जो सिलेबस है आपका ठीक है आपके सिलेबस की अगर हम बात करें तो आपके सिलेबस में वेस्टर्न थिंकर्स वेस्टर्न पॉलिटिकल थिंकर्स वो एक्सप्लिसिटली मैंशन है कि कौन कौन से रहेंगे ठीक है देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन थिंकर एंड अदर थियरिस्ट ठीक है ये दो चीज में डिफरेंस है वेस्टर्न पॉलिटिकल थिंकर जो थिंकर्स मेंशन है जैसे कि प्लेटो है ओके सोक्राइट इज नॉट मेंशन प्लेटो एरिस्टोटल कार्ल मार्क्स मैकेवेली थॉमस हॉब्स मिल ठीक है नौ अभी जैसे कि आपको प्लेटो पढ़ना है ठीक है मान लो प्लेटो को आपको स्टार्ट करना है रीडिंग आप प्लेटो जब तक नहीं समझ सकते हैं कि प्लेटो ने बात क्या कही है ठीक है प्लेटो कहना क्या चाहता है प्लेटो किस कॉन्टेक्स में चीजें बोलना चाह रहा है वो जब तक नहीं समझ में आएगा जब तक आप सोक्रेटिस नहीं पढ़ेंगे ठीक है 
यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट जब तक आप सोक्रेट्स नहीं पढ़ेंगे आपको प्लेटो समझ में नहीं आएगा ठीक है तो ऑल दो सोक्रेट्स इज नॉट मैंशन इन योर सिलेबस ठीक है बट सोक्रेट्स को आपको पढ़ना पड़ेगा तो फॉर दैट रीजन टू बिल्ड अप द यू नो टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड प्लेटो हम क्या करते हैं हम आपको पहले सोक्रेट समझाने की कोशिश करते हैं सोक्रेट्स क्या कहना चाह रहा था ऑल दो हम एग्जाम के ओरिएंटेशन से उसे पढ़ाते हैं तो हम बहुत ब्रीफली बात करते हैं उसके लिए ठीक है जैसे कि रूसियो अब रूसियो अंडरस्टैंड करना बहुत जरूरी है आपके लिए क्यों क्योंकि जब तक रूसियो नहीं समझ में आएगा आपको मिल मिल में मिल में आपको दिक्कत होगी समझने में जेस मिल दैट इज देयर इन द सिलेबस अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस यू विल ऑल्सो विल नॉट बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द मिल के ऊपर भी बेंथम है यूटिलिटेरियन मॉडल आपको वो समझ में नहीं आएगा ठीक है तो क्या है कि कुछ थिंकर जो फिलोसोफर हैं पोलिटिकल फिलोसोफर वो बहुत प्रोमिनेंट है ठीक है तो उनका नाम एक्सप्लिसिटली मैंशन है उनसे क्वेश्चन डायरेक्टली आएगा जैसे कि हम अगर बात करें एरिस्टोटल की हम बात करें प्लेटो की दे आर द ग्रेट थिंकर्स ग्रेट फिलोसोफर्स तो यहाँ से क्वेश्चन डेफिनेटली आना ही है इन दो थिंकर से एक क्वेश्चन हर साल आपको आएगा एंड दिस इज द रीजन आई एम देयर फॉर यू पीपल जो सैटरडे की आपकी क्लास होगी ठीक है एवरी सैटरडे इन एवरी वीक ये कैटेगराइजेशन आफ्टर पाँच दिन सर की क्लास के बाद छठे दिन हम लोग यही डिस्कशन मेरा डिस्कशन इसी टॉपिक पर रहेगा कि किस पार्ट पे ज़्यादा एम्फोसाइज करना है कहाँ से क्वेश्चन की प्रिडिक्टेबिलिटी बहुत ज़्यादा है कहाँ से क्वेश्चन आ सकता है और आता है टाइम एंड अगेन हमारा आंसर कैसा होगा हमारा स्ट्रक्चर कैसे बनेगा आपको टॉपिक समझ में आया या नहीं आया तो हमारा जो आप देखेंगे कि इफ यू सी इन हियर ठीक है ये जो क्लास का मॉडल है फॉर्मेट है हमने इसी के लिए डिजाइन किया है पांच दिन आपको सर पढ़ाएंगे एक दिन आके मैं पढ़ाऊंगा आपको फिर ये कंटिन्यू चलेगा दो फर्स्ट टू वीक तक फिर उसके बाद में आफ्टर टू वीक आफ्टर टू मंथ फर्स्ट टू मंथ आफ्टर टू मंथ आई टेक सैटरडे एंड संडे बोथ उसमें आंसर राइटिंग डिस्कशन हो गया और भी चीजें जो है क्या किसका आंसर होना चाहिए कैसा होना चाहिए आपकी स्ट्रैटेजी क्या होना चाहिए किस किस कंटेंट को आपको पढ़ना है और किसको नहीं पढ़ना है That will be explicitly discussed in that. तो so, exam में ये आठ political thinkers है तो definitely question. This is the target area. ये target area है उनका वहाँ से question definitely आपको आएंगे लेकिन question कभी हो सकता है कि पीछे से वो निकाल के पूछ ले It it happened in the previous year papers. ठीक है तो उसे भी आपको जानना जरूरी पर majority time इसी जितने thinker mention है syllabus में चाहे वो western हो चाहे वो Indian हो क्वेश्चन वहां से ही आएगा मोस्टली ठीक है दैट वी विल डिस्कस इन द जो हमारा जब लेक्चर स्टार्ट होगा तो वहां पे डिस्कशन ज्यादा होगा ओके सो आई गेस आई हैव एड्रेस दिस क्वेश्चन किनका था ये राघो का क्वेश्चन था सर थैंक यू लकी फॉर मेंशनिंग री मेंशनिंग माय क्वेश्चन ओके राघो यो वेलकम क्या है सोक्रेटिस वॉज अ गुरु ऑफ प्लेटो यस What about the resources apart from the lecture notes and by the teacher? You do not have to refer anything. You do not have to refer anything, anything, or any book. No book is required. Whatever we are giving as a class notes and the printed notes, okay? Printed notes. and okay along with this the current affair notes along with this we will give you the value addition notes value addition notes these are the four thing that we will be providing in the lecture ye char cheeze hain jo hum hum aapko provide karenge theek hai kahan pe hamare class mein theek hai दिस आर द फोर्थ थिंग दैट बिली प्रॉइंट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस फोर्थ थिंग यू डोंट हैव टू रीड एनी थिंग आपको कुछ पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है अगर ज्यादा क्यूरियोसिटी है तो मुझे बताना कि सर आई वॉन्ट टू रीड मोर अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट देन आई विल गिव यू सर्टन लिस्ट ऑफ दिस द बुक्स दैट यू कैन रीड बट दैट इज फॉर द अकेडमिक अगर एग्जाम निकालना है तो मेरे हिसाब से ये चार आप पढ़ लेते हैं तो दैट इज मोर देन इनफ ठीक है चार जो नोट्स जो डॉक्यूमेंट आपको टेक्स्टुअल डॉक्यूमेंट जो आपको दी जाएंगे क्लास के अपार्ट फ्रॉम द क्लास इज मोर देन सफिशिएंट टू राइट योर गुड आंसर स्कोर अ गुड मार्क्स 
आपका बर्डन कम करने के लिए वो एक्स्ट्रा क्लास हम रख रहे हैं ठीक है दैट इज द रीजन दैट वी आर कीपिंग दैट एक्स्ट्रा क्लास ओके सो आई गेस आई हैव एड्रेस दैट क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो अनदर क्वेश्चन अपार्ट फ्रॉम लेक्चर नोट बाय द टीचर ओके ऑप्शनल पेपर से पहले लक्ष्मीकांत या डीडी बसु की बुक पढ़ना नेसेसरी है यहाँ पे क्लियर हो गया हो गया ओके यू डोंट हैव टू रीड एक्चुअली नो नीड टू रीड अगर आपको पढ़ना ही है बिफोर कमिंग फॉर द पॉलिटिकल साइंस ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट काइंडली रीड एनसीईआरटी एनसीईआरटी पढ़ो एंड रीड इट फ्रॉम नाइन्थ टू ट्वेल्थ न्यू एनसीईआरटी जो आपकी नई वाली एनसीईआरटी है नाइन्थ टू ट्वेल्थ तक के एनसीईआरटी पढ़ के आओ नाइन्थ टू ट्वेल्थ और उसमें सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट किताब है दैट इज इलेवेंथ पॉलिटिकल थियरी जो इलेवेंथ की पॉलिटिकल थियरी है आप उसे पढ़िए वो ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है डीडी बसु इज इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन और उसमें एक सेक्शन है बहुत तीन चार यूनिट ही मिलकर के डीडी बसु कवर कर पाएगा ठीक है आपके पेपर वन सेक्शन बी के एरिया में चाहे वो लक्ष्मीकांत हो तो एक पूरी किताब पढ़ लेना तीन चार उसके लिए दैट इज नॉट अ बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक वो बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक का काम नहीं करेगा उससे अच्छा है कि आप इलेवेंथ के एन जो है पोलिटिकल थेरी इसे प्रिसाइसली पढ़े एग्जाम हमारी क्लास स्टार्ट होने से पहले जितनी बार पढ़ सकते हैं उतनी बार पढ़े उसके बाद में आप नाइन्थ टू टेंथ एन जो नई वाली है नाइन्थ क्लास के एन सी आर टी डेमोक्रेटिक पॉलिटिक्स पार्ट वन टेंथ डेमोक्रेटिक पॉलिटिक्स पार्ट टू इलेवेंथ में कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड वर्क पॉलिटिकल थियरी है वर्ल्ड पॉलिटिक्स ट्वेल्थ में है और इंडिया पॉलिटिक्स इन इंडिया सिंस इंडिपेंडेंस वो भी ट्वेल्थ में रीड दैट दैट कैन बिल्ड अप सम बेस फॉर यू पीपल सो दैट वी कैन बिगिन द लेक्चर फ्रॉम देयर वहाँ से हम लेक्चर स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं ठीक है द अनदर क्वेश्चन सो नीतीश योर क्वेश्चन हैज बीन एड्रेस आई गेस सर विच ऑल टॉपिक्स विल बी कवर्ड इन इंडियन एंड नेशनलिज्म इंडियन नेशनलिज्म के लिए आप देखेंगे तो जो प्रिसाइजली फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल है फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल का पार्ट ठीक है ये एक्चुअली आपके सेक्शन बी पेपर वन पेपर वन सेक्शन बी का पहला यूनिट है यूनिट वन यूनिट वन आपका सिलेबस जो है पीएसआईआर का ये ये पार्ट है उसमें फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम पार्टीशन पार्टीशन ऑफ बंगाल 1905 और उससे भी पहले फॉर्मेशन ऑफ आईएनसी इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस 1885 यहां से शुरू करेगा मतलब दैट विल स्टार्ट कवरिंग फ्रॉम हियर एंड इट विल गो अप टिल 1947 द इंडिपेंडेंस ठीक है उसमें अलग अलग जो मूवमेंट है सत्याग्रह मूवमेंट सिविल डिसोबीडियंस मूवमेंट पार्टीशन नॉन कॉपरेशन मूवमेंट कांग्रेस मॉडरेट एक्सट्रीमिस्ट अंबेडकर का अलग अलग व्यूज ठीक है मार्क्सिस्ट का क्या व्यूज है नेशनलिज्म को लेकर के ठीक है दलित का क्या व्यूज है नेशनलिज्म को लेकर के ठीक है यू विल रीड अबाउट गांधीज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इन दैट so this part of modern history in your gs paper 1 will be covered from here theek hai ye yahan se cover hoga okay getting it to ye aapka jab section b start hoga paper 1 ka section b the first unit is talking about the indian indian freedom struggle theek hai indian national movement indian nationalism wahan se theek hai so vaishnavi choudhary i guess your question is address सर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कि ये क्लास का मोड कैसा होगा ऑनलाइन होगा ऑफलाइन होगा किस तरह से सो दिस इज अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली पीपल आर मोर कंफ्यूज इन दिस पार्ट सो आई विल मेक देम क्लियर ओवर हियर इट सेल्फ ओके पे साइड क्लास इसी कोर्स मोड जो है आपका सॉरी जो कोर्स का मोड है आपका इट इज ऑफलाइन लाइव क्लासेस We called it as an hybrid model. तो आपकी जो regular class है that is फाइव plus वन it will be live. Live that is online. It is an online class. Along with this online class, online class, we will be also giving you टू to थ्री days 
ऑफलाइन इंट्रैक्शन सेशन कैसा डाउट और इंट्रैक्शन सेशन कहां पे हमारे कानपुर और पुणे सेंटर पे सो दो आर लिविंग नियर दैट पर्टिकुलर एरिया दे कैन कम एंड दे कैन अटेंड वी विल इन्फॉर्म यू प्रायरली कि कब हम वो क्लासेस ऑर्गेनाइज करने वाले हैं तो ऑफलाइन हम इसलिए उसे कर रहे हैं हमारा मेजर जो पर्पस है उसे करने का जनरली होता क्या है कि जब आप ऑनलाइन क्लास में होते हैं तो देर इज अ डिसकनेक्शन बिटवीन द स्टूडेंट्स एंड द टीचर टीचर आया उसने ब्लैक बोर्ड पर पढ़ाया आपने ढाई घंटा पढ़ाया वो चला गया बच्चे ने पढ़ा और वो रह गया इवेंचुअली ये जो डिसकनेक्शन होता है इसको रिमूव करने के लिए हमने दोनों ही सेंटर पे दो से तीन क्लास एवरी मंथ हमने ऑर्गेनाइज किया है दो से तीन क्लास वहाँ और दो से तीन क्लास वहाँ डिपेंड्स अपॉन द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ द बोथ द टीचर कौन सा टीचर कहाँ जाएगा वो टीचर के उस टाइम की अवेलेबिलिटी पे डिपेंड करेगा सो दिस इज एन हाइब्रिड मॉडल पर प्रोमिनेंटली योर एंटायर लेक्चर विल बी हेल्ड ऑनलाइन दैट विल बी अ लाइव सेशन ठीक है टाइमिंग फ्रॉम वन थर्टी पी एम टिल फोर पी एम चार पी एम तक ठीक है दिस विल बी द टाइमिंग डेली टाइमिंग ओके आपकी सैटरडे की क्लास की टाइमिंग थोड़ी सी ऊपर नीचे हो सकती है पर मंडे टू फ्राइडे की टाइमिंग आपकी यही रहेगी ठीक है सर आई गेस दिस क्वेश्चन हैज बीन एड्रेस यूडी सर एनी अदर क्वेश्चन जी सर इसके साथ ऑनलाइन डाउट क्लासेस भी होंगे हाँ ऑनलाइन डाउट क्लासेस जो आपकी सैटरडे की क्लास है सैटरडे की क्लास ये डाउट क्लास ही है आपकी ऑनलाइन सैटरडे वाली क्लास जो फाइव प्लस वन जो है आपका वो पहले फर्स्ट टू मंथ विल बी वन क्लास ऑन सैटरडे एंड आफ्टर दैट आफ्टर टू मंथ दिस विल बी टू क्लास दैट इज सैटरडे एंड संडे बोथ वो दो क्लास में टन हो जाएगी उसमें आंसर राइटिंग मेंटरिंग शीप सारी चीजें आपको मिलेगी ओके जनरली जब आप कहते हैं कि वैल्यू एडिशन करना चाहिए नोट्स में तो एग्जैक्टली exactly वैल्यू एडिशन होता क्या है वैल्यू एडिशन मतलब समझो सपोज करो कि कुछ नया डेवलपमेंट हो रहा है टॉपिक के अंदर देर माइट बी सम न्यू डेवलपमेंट इन इन द डिसिप्लिन दैट इज पी एस आई आर के सब्जेक्ट में कुछ नया डिसिप्लिन हुआ अब यू नो यू आर अवेयर अबाउट फेडरलिज्म सपोज करो एग्जाम्पल दे रहा हूँ मैं आपको मैं पढ़ा नहीं रहा हूँ आपको आप इस कॉन्सेप्ट के बारे में अवेयर हैं फेडरलिज्म के कॉन्सेप्ट के बारे में डू यू आर यू अवेयर अबाउट इंटरनेशनल फेडरलिज्म इंटरनेशनल फेडरलिज्म दिस इज अ न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज अमर्जिंग अ रिसेंट रिसर्च पेपर हैज बीन सबमिटेड ऑन द फेडरलिज्म विच हैज बीन मूव फ्रॉम फेडरलिज्म टू इंटरनेशनल फेडरलिज्म वैल्यू एडिशन का मतलब यही होता है कि क्या नया डेवलपमेंट हो रहा है सब्जेक्ट के साथ में एंड द बेस्ट पार्ट इज यू कैन राइट यू कैन राइट एन आंसर बाय योर ऑर्डिनरी टेक्स्ट जो भी आपको ऑर्डिनरी टेक्स्ट आप उससे आंसर लिखोगे आपको नंबर भी मिलेगा लेकिन जो वो क्वालिटेटिव नंबर है जो आपको चाहिए आप वो एक पर्टिकुलर एज लेस को बाकी बच्चों से दैट विल कम ओनली वेन यू प्रोवाइड द वैल्यू एडिशन and this value addition is not provided by all institute and all teachers at igra yes we will be providing this text ye hum har subject ke sath mein har unit jaise khatam hoga to hum usko value add karke aapko batayenge ki you can add this point in this particular thinker philosopher theory discipline concept kis mein kya lagega kya update hai ye update hai this is value addition and we will also make you understand how to use that value addition while writing the answer to tabhi ja kar ke aapke answer ki jo quality hai wo improve hogi then only you will be able to cross 280 290 ka jo margin up to 300 hai ya 320 ya 340 hai wo tab cross hota hai generally bachche kehte hai ki sir humne to pad liya lekin wo 270 275 ka margin cross nahi ho raha hamara the reason is this सम पीपल आर डूइंग इट आजकल स्टूडेंट खुद ही कर रहे हैं दे आर ट्राइंग टू रीड सब सडन टेक्स्ट कुछ जर्नल्स पढ़ रहे हैं वहाँ से कुछ टेक्स्ट वो लोग ले रहे हैं तो दैट जॉब विल बी वी विल बी डूइंग दैट एंड वी विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग यू दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग ओके सो यू डोंट हैव टू रन हियर एंड देयर फॉर द सोर्सेस और रिसोर्सेज एज सच दैट वी विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग एट दाइक राइज सर नेक्स्ट ये था कि ये जो लाइफ वाली बैचेस है सपोज कोई बच्चा नहीं देख पाए 
तो क्या उसको रिकॉर्डेड में भी मिलेगी रिकॉर्डेड uh, मिलेगा लेकिन बहुत लिमिटेड टाइम के लिए मिलेगा आपको रिकॉर्डेड स्पेसिफाई किया जाएगा टाइम का कि इतने टाइम तक के आपको रिकॉर्डेड मिलेगा दैट्स इट थैंक यू सर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ये है कि संजय सर क्या पढ़ाएंगे आप क्या पढ़ाएंगे जनरली मतलब कैसे कैसे संजय सर विल बी कवरिंग मेजरली द थ्योरी पार्ट द थ्योरी पार्ट इन बोथ द पेपर पेपर 1 एंड पेपर टू पेपर वन और पेपर टू में संजय सर थेरी पार्ट कवर करेंगे एंड आई विल बी डीलिंग मेजरली विद द करंट अफेयर एरिया दैट इज कंटेम्प्रेरी एरिया यू कैन टॉक अबाउट वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड पॉलिटिक्स दैट इज पेपर टू ठीक है यू कैन इंडियन फॉरेन पॉलिसी इंडियन फॉरेन पॉलिसी और इंडिया का इंडिया से इंट्रैक्शन विद द वर्ल्ड दैट इज ये दोनों पार्ट पेपर टू का है ठीक है आई विल बी टेकिंग दिस पार्ट द पेपर टू पेपर टू का कुछ ये पार्ट जो है मैं इसी पेपर टू में देर इज अ थियरी कंपेरेटिव पॉलिटिक्स है और इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन की थियरीज है दैट विल बी कवर्ड बाय द संजय सर और पेपर वन संजय सर पूरा पढ़ाएंगे ठीक है ओके यू डी सर दिस दिस इज एन अरेंजमेंट फॉर द कोर्स मैं बुद्ध अगर ऐसा कुछ हुआ कि द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ संजय सर इज नॉट देयर देन आई टेक सम कट सम क्लासेस फ्रॉम द पेपर वन ऑल्सो ओके मतलब जनरली ऐसा होता नहीं है लेकिन अगर ऐसा हुआ कि संजय सर की तबीयत खराब हो गई अनफॉर्चुनेट इंसिडेंट्स ऐसे कुछ हो गए तो आई विल बी टेकिंग सर्टन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ दैट ऑल्सो ओके बट सो फार वी हैव डिवाइडेड दिस पार्ट हम ऐसे डिवाइड कर रखे हैं ठीक है थैंक यू सर सर एक बार वो जो स्लाइड्स है उसमें से अगर कुछ थोड़ा सा पोर्शन के बारे में सर थोड़ा सा दिखा दें एक जस्ट जनरल आइडिया ओके सो द कोर्स कैसे रन करेगा हमारा इट विल बी सॉरी लेट मी चेंज द कलर ओके वन लेक्चर एवरी वीक अबाउट द पॉलिटिकल इंटरनेशनल डेवलपमेंट सैटरडे को होगा आपका जो कि मैंने आपको बताया है दैट इज फाइव प्लस वन में जो पहले एक क्लास है वो इसके ऊपर हो कि क्या डेवलपमेंट करंट अफेयर में हुआ आपका रिवीजन कैसा है लेक्चर्स में क्या डाउट है वो सेशंस हम यहाँ पे लेंगे आंसर राइटिंग प्रैक्टिसेस विल आल्सो बी कंडक्टेड एट एंड ऑफ एवरी यूनिट जैसे आपका सिलेबस का एक यूनिट खत्म हुआ ठीक है देन ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द प्री वाई क्यू प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन एंड वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द आंसर राइटिंग स्ट्रैटेजी कि आंसर इस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक पे कैसे लिखना है ठीक है मान लो आपका वेस्टर्न पॉलिटिकल थिंकर खत्म हो गया देन आई डिस्कस द वेस्टर्न पॉलिटिकल थिंकर पे कैसे क्वेश्चंस आए हैं मान लो आपका क्वेश्चन टॉपिक खत्म हुआ राइट्स आई डिस्कस द राइट पे कैसे क्वेश्चंस आ सकते हैं पेपर टू में आपका पेपर टू में आपका खत्म हुआ ग्लोबलाइजेशन देन ग्लोबलाइजेशन का पूरा यूनिट जो है अगर वो खत्म हुआ देन आई टॉक अबाउट द ग्लोबलाइजेशन कैसे क्वेश्चंस आए हैं कैसे बन रहे हैं आगे कैसे आने के चांसेस हैं सो आंसर राइटिंग विल बी डिस्कस एट एवरी यूनिट हर यूनिट के बाद में आंसर राइटिंग डिस्कशन स्टार्ट होगा आपका अलॉन्ग विद दिस देर विल बी अ रेगुलर मेंटरशिप इफ देर इज अ डाउट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू योर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द स्ट्रैटेजी हाउ टू रीड इट विच पार्ट टू रीड विच पार्ट टू नॉट टू फोकस ऑन ठीक है किस पे हम ज्यादा एम्फोसाइज करें तो हमारा ज्यादा नंबर बनेगा ठीक है दैट विल बी मेंटेड बाय मी ठीक है आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग दैट स्ट्रैटेजी विच ईच एंड एवरी स्टूडेंट separately if they want it separately they can ask me separately if they want it i'll generally talk in the class as well the somebody want to discuss separately they can discuss separately with me there is no issue theek hai the mentorship the notes i have already talked about the notes notes on the current development will be provided weekly current development mein jo current affair ka notes hoga aapko har week this is not the ordinary notes this is not the notes of gs paper ye aapke political science ka notes hai पॉलिटिकल साइंस के सब्जेक्ट का नोट्स है जो कि जीएस से बहुत अलग होता है क्योंकि यहाँ पे आपको स्कॉलर्स को लिखने होते हैं किस जो है एक्सपर्ट्स ने क्या बोला है कैसे चीज़ें डेवलप्ड हो रही हैं उसके बारे में है नोट्स दिस वी हैव केप्ट वेरी स्पेशली फॉर यू पीपल द रीज़न इज वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू यू टू स्टडी द मल्टीपल मैगजीन्स एंड द न्यूज ठीक है टू कीप योर सेल्फ अपडेटेड दैट इज द जॉब दैट वी आर डूइंग एट द इकरा and we are providing that resources to you so that you can easily sit at your home and you can focus only on the studying not to you know finding the different different resources or not running after the resources so that this is the it is like this program we have made in such a way it's like a one stop shop aap aaye admission le 
आपका एडमिशन हो गया उसी हिसाब से हम सारी चीज़ें जो रिक्वायर्ड है एक अच्छा मार्क्स लाने की दैट वी विल बी केटरिंग द ओनली कंडीशन इज यू शुड बी विलिंग टू पुच डैट मच एफर्ट विद द सब्जेक्ट उतना एफर्ट आपको डालना पड़ेगा जितना वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग फ्रॉम यू पीपल तब जा करके वो 300, 280, 290 का ब्रैकेट क्रॉस होता है ठीक है अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस देर विल बी एवरी क्लास आई हैव टोल्ड यू 2.5 पॉइंट फाइव आर वन थर्टी पी को क्लास स्टार्ट होगी इट विल एंड एट 4 पी 4 पी ये आपके मंडे टू फ्राइडे का टाइमिंग है मंडे टू सॉरी मंडे टू फ्राइडे सैटरडे एंड संडे की टाइमिंग चेंज हो सकती है बट इट विल बी डिपेंड्स अपॉन द कैसा जा रहा है क्लास अवेलेबिलिटी कैसी है ठीक है तो उसी हिसाब से हम चेंज पर वो उस दिन हो ही एंड मोस्ट प्रोबेबली इट विल हैपन इन द डे टाइम नॉट इन द नाइट टाइम ओके देन द यू कैन सी द क्लास टाइमिंग एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड डिक्टेशन क्लास रूम मटेरियल्स आई हैव डिस्कस यू विल गेटिंग द क्लास रूम मटेरियल्स यू विल ऑल्सो गेटिंग द मटेरियल्स एंड थ्रो एनालिसिस ऑफ द रीसेंट अपडेट दैट इज प्रिंटेड नोट्स एंड द वैल्यू एडिशन यू विल बी ऑल्सो गेटिंग दिस ओके so it got repeated so i have discussed and sir as so fees will be fees is 40000 for the first 50 students the fees is 25000 and this part is filling very fast so you can register as soon as possible so that you can avail the discount that we have kept for the students okay right so you did sir i guess uh, i have covered the features also on the board and the class will start from 31st of october this class will the duration of the class is 6 month okay it also include the test series the test series schedule is already there on the website it will start in the month of the first week of first week of january after you will completing the substantial portion of psir then we will start the test series okay it it will not have any benefit if we start it very early so for that reason we have kept the test series इन सच अ वे दैट इट विल यू विल हैव सर्टन नॉलेज कुछ नॉलेज आप गैदर करेंगे उसके बाद टेस्ट लिखेंगे आप ठीक है सिक्स मंथ को दिस विल एंड ऑन थर्टी एथ ऑफ अप्रैल देर इज अ प्रॉपर शेड्यूल इज गिवेन ऑन द वेबसाइट प्लीज विजिट द वेबसाइट एंड सी द शेड्यूल दैट वी हैव मेड ठीक है वो शेड्यूल हमने बनाया है उसका पूरा पूरे सिक्स मंथ प्लान आपको दिया है ऑलरेडी तो यू कैन विजिट दैट प्लान ऑल्सो ठीक है यू कैन गो एंड विजिट दैट प्लान एंड यू कैन एक्सेस दैट एरिया Okay. Sir, you did, sir, any more question? Most of the questions have been answered, sir. Uh, and we'll also be arranging such kind of sessions in future, also before the start of the batch. Uh, the batch starting date is thirty first of October, as sir said. And उससे पहले और भी दो तीन session तो आपके हो नहीं हो जाएंगे. Still, people who have joined us on Telegram, आप उसके बारे में पूछ ही सकते हैं. You can visit www. ikrais. com. and you can click on the optional subject psi and you can find more information thank you so much for your time ishad sir thank, thank you very much thank you very much uh, students for participating in this session and we would like to see you uh, as a student as soon as uh, on the first uh, 31st of october so we both can you both uh, we will also learn in this how to cater the demand of the students and you will also gain a lot from our experienced teacher sanjay raghu sir thank you very much sir thank you for the Thank you.